Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and today, guys, uh, it's continuation of my mini series of how to configure and install FTP uh, within your server 2012. Uh, this is part two, and today I'm going to show you guys how to do the installation part. So let's get started. Uh, have your server manager up and running, like I do. Uh, you want to go into manage, and you want to add roles and features. We're going to hit next on this. Uh, by default, you're going to get role based and feature based installation. We want that. Yes, we do. Hit next. Uh, by default, your the machine that you're actually installing this service or role or feature is the selected one. We want that. We're going to hit next. Now, within roles, uh, we need to select web services, IIS. And you're going to get a uh, nice little required. These are everything that needs to be required. Yes, we're going to add those features. Then we want to hit next. We're going to hit next again. And we're going to hit next. Now, when you get to this portion right here, which is the web service roles, IIS uh, role services, we want to locate the FTP portion of it. So, FTP. You also want to make sure that you do FTP uh, extendability. You also make sure, because by default, if you click FTP, you're only going to get the FTP service. You really want this as well. Uh, so, Check everything inside the FTP server row node. Uh, hit next. Uh, I'm going to do a restart the destination service server automatically if required here. Sure, why not? It's always nice once you finish the installation of the FTP row, or as well as the web service row, to reboot your virtual uh, your virtual machine. For me, a virtual machine, but your physical machine. And we're going to hit install. Okay, so once your installation is succeeded, it's not going to reboot for you. I don't know why it doesn't reboot for you. Uh, I'm going to close that. I am going to close my server manager. Now, now the real reason I tell you guys to reboot your server is because some of the firewall settings have a habit of not enabling until the server has restarted. This does not happen all the time, so you may be lucky or not. Won't be needing a reboot sometimes. So, always take the best practice and uh, be proactive and just reboot your machine. And I'm going to I'm going to actually reboot my virtual machine so I'm gonna restart the virtual machine and uh, I don't know that's uh, I don't know uh, yeah whatever hit continue and just let your machine reboot and you're good to go now in the next video guys I'm gonna show you how to configure the FTP services within your Windows Server 2012 hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I catch you guys on the next part peace out